What's up guys? So I just got out of work and I looked at my phone and saw the news that the Jaguars have officially placed the franchise tag on left tackle Cam Robinson. Um, I kind of halfway expected this if the Jags were going to use the franchise tag on a player. Um, I know a lot of you guys thought maybe we might use it on DJ Chark. Uh, I never thought that. I never thought the Jaguars should do that, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, if they're going to bring DJ Chark back, bring it back, bring him back on a, oh, I almost dropped my phone. Bring him back on a team friendly deal. Um, I always knew if they were going to, uh, tag a player, it would be Cam Robinson. And that's exactly what they did. However, I'm going to tell you guys, um, I don't think that this is going to be played out under the tag. I don't think Cam will play a snap under the tag. And what I mean, I think the Jags, <coughs> excuse me, I think the Jags are going to sign Cam to a long-term deal, uh, probably before training camp or preseason gets started. I think Cam Robinson will have a long-term deal. I think that the Jaguars like, obviously like him enough because they could have done nothing and then just gone all in on Armstead and free agency. Um, or if they're in love with Evan Neal, they could have just done nothing and just said, okay, well, we know we're getting Evan Neal. We're happy with that. We love Evan Neal and we're picking him. But now I'll be honest. I know some people still talk about picking Evan Neal at one, playing him at guard, whatever. I, I, uh, me personally, me personally, I, I don't see it. I just don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. That's just me. Um, the Jaguars have placed the tag on Cam Robinson. My personal belief is they're going to give him a long-term deal within the next few months. And I think Cam Robinson is going to be our left tackle for many, many years to come. And then when it comes to the right side, you have to play Walker Little. Walker Little, you know, you spent, you, you essentially traded Unique and Gakwe for him. Okay, you spent a mid-second round pick on the guy, and he showed enough potential last year to where in some way, shape, or form he has to be on the field. And I don't believe that he's like, his build, his body type, I don't really think he's a guard. I think he's a natural tackle. Um, Jawan Taylor hasn't earned the right to start, in my opinion. So I think your tackles week one against whoever in September Cam's your left, Walker Little is your right tackle, and Jawan Taylor is one of the highest paid backup swing tackles in the NFL, unfortunately. Um, and I, that's just how I see it. Um, so one more thing, and I'll probably make a video a little bit in the future about this. I don't know how you guys feel, but to me, this move here solidifies to me just just because I think I know the Jaguars and the kind of things that the Jaguars do will do Aiden Hutchinson is a Jacksonville Jaguar that's just how I feel I think I think they already know that's who they want I think that's Balky's guy me personally do I mind it particularly no no, my ideal scenario for the Jags is to trade out of the number one pick, um, which won't happen because there's no one, unless there's another team that's really tackle needy that wanted to move up for Evan Neal, or there's rumor that the Lions are in love with Aiden Hutchinson, but I don't know. I don't see a scenario where the Jags can move out, but I hope that they could. Um, I don't want to get too rabbit trailed, but I just want to make the statement that them doing this today with Cam Robinson, he will not play on the tag. You heard it here, for, heard it here first, because I don't think any other, um, I don't really think anyone else is saying this, but I really do. I believe it in my heart. Cam Robinson is going to get a new multi-year deal. Aiden Hutchinson is going to be their pick. That's Balky's guy. And that's just how I feel. 
Free agency, the Jaguars, in true Jaguar fashion, are already pretty much screwed before it even starts because Chris Godwin, goodbye. Devontae uh, Adams, goodbye, which that was a pipe dream to begin with. Mike Williams, goodbye. So it's already slim pickings. Mike Gusecki, goodbye. Dalton Schultz, goodbye. So we'll see what the Jags do. Uh, next week is a big week. We'll see what happens. Go Jags.